Hello Capricorn, we're here to do your love reading. Let's see, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Capricorn. Let's see what's going on here for our Capricorn friends in love. Ooh, Capricorn. <laughs> that is that energy, the Four of Cups energy is Cancerian energy. You don't seem to be too happy. Somebody is annoying you, letting you down. You are not overly impressed with somebody's behavior of late. Oh, Ten of Cups, you're very much in love with someone. So we see Happily Ever After. That's one of the most beautiful cards in the deck of all the tarot cards. Okay, let's see what you... The King of Swords energy, you are in strong analysis mode. You feel like this person's inconsistent. The Ace of Wands is reversed. Now it twirled around a couple of times. So I'm going to, because this is a King of Swords, I'm going to take the, you're not going to let passion override your decision. No matter how much you love this person, you are going to keep your eyes peeled right now. I see you being very, very watchful, very analytical, very, very much interested. You're not going to let your passion carry you away. How do you view the situation? Queen of Swords energy, King of Swords energy. Yep, you are not going to uh, allow anybody in your life as a permanent person if they are not bringing clarity to the situation, if they are not showing that they're invested emotionally, physically, if they're not showing up, you're not going to continue to invest. It doesn't matter how much you love. You think that they are a lightweight in love? You feel as though they're so sort of naive, so inexperienced. There may be an age difference, realistically, but when pigs fly, you just don't trust this person. You do not trust that they're really, that they're following up with this love that you feel that you've experienced with them. Because that's not just you loving them. That's the two of you very wrapped up, you know, with thoughts of the future. So, okay, look at this. Oh, nice, nice. Capricorn, this is how your person views the situation, the sun card. They feel very happy. This is Leo energy. Very, this person feels very, very happy that they've met you. You know, we look at the swirl of the sun over here. These are two of the happiest cards on the deck. So your person seems to be okay. What is hidden in this situation? Capricorn, Capricorn, what is hidden in this love story that we haven't seen yet? It's making you undecided. Ah, hermit energy. This person does not tell you enough. I feel as though they show up and then it looks like they might have ghosted you. The hidden energy, the hermit card, they've gone silent for too long. There hasn't been consistent communication because pages are communicators. Pages, you know, you feel like this person's a lightweight. You clearly know that they've enjoyed time with you. And yet here you are. Look at, we almost have the hermit with the queen of swords, almost with the same look. This is Virgo energy. This is Libra. But boy, Capricorn, you are really giving this a lot of thought. You're trying to figure things out. You are really looking. You're doing some soul searching here. Like, what did you miss? What did you miss? Okay, what is spirit? What is the information spirit's going to give us about this reading? Nine of coins, Virgo energy. So you may be dealing with a Virgo. You may be dealing with somebody who's very, very invested in their career. Let's see. What is the outcome? We're going to clarify everything a lot. The star card. So you're, oh my gosh, look at this. This is such an odd reading. Because we have the Ten of Cups happily ever after. We have the Sun card. The Sun card is very much the energy of great happiness and joy. The outcome card for the reading is hopes and dreams manifesting and coming true. So let's see what we need to see here. Let's see. Okay, so Capricorn, we're going to look and see. I want to look in to see your feelings about the Four of Cups energy. Why are you feeling dissatisfied? Why are you feeling disconnected, annoyed? 
what is that about why are you feeling so dissatisfied capricorn what has this person done said what are you thinking Oh boy, look at that. Now normally the Three of Coins card is really somebody that is collaborating with you. But in this particular instance you feel as though they're just sort of letting the coins fall and they don't really care and you just feel like this person is almost like bored with you or you're bored with them. Although I don't think you are. It really shows that this person is not really coming across as highly interested. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Why is that your mutual energy currently? Why is this Ten of Cups here? Two of Swords, okay. Okay. Now the Two of Swords can mean a couple of things. We don't really fully know yet, but this person might be married. They may not have told you. I'm not so sure that that's the case, but we're going to go forward here. The Eight of Swords, they're not moving forward. The King of Cups, Scorpio energy. They're going to come in and tell you something, but this is supposed to be your mutual energy. So this is a, a, this is a little bit um, a little bit weird. There's a lot of swords here. So swords are all about communication, and this is a King of Cups. Remember, the King of Cups does not tend to speak their love. The King of Cups is usually the person who's very stable, but they don't they show people they love them. They don't typically talk about it. And I feel like you need that Capricorn. I feel like you need this communication. They seem to be oblivious. The Eight of Swords, self-imposed restrictions, so they're deliberately not doing it. There also could have been a little bit of an argument it's hard to say there may be somebody who's married. I'm not really sold on that yet. I would need to see different cards to, to make the assumption that your person did not tell you about a marriage. I don't really see that as being the likely story. Okay, it's a possible, but it's always possible. Okay, why is the King of Swords here? Capricorn, why do you feel this King of Swords energy? Seven of Swords, you definitely feel as though this person pulled a fast one on you. Why don't you feel passionate about them? Why don't you feel passionate? The devil energy, wow. Capricorn, that is your energy. You're feeling as though, you know, like you're really, I'll tell you one thing, you are basically really hell-bent on finding out what the truth is. Now, if this person really is married, I want to settle that issue right now. Okay, tell us if this person lied, because this is a card that makes you feel that they deceived you. When we get the devil energy, you're still not sure yet. You think this person is really manipulative. You think they may have just wanted passion, but it does look like... Okay, so tell us more. We're going to do a little mini reading here. Tell us about this Ten of Cups. Is this Ten of Cups Capricorn? Is this Ten of Cups Capricorn? Let's see, we're going to draw five cards here. Yes, it is you, Capricorn. Okay, so this... <laughs> not often that I have to have a mini reading within a reading. Yes, okay. So Capricorn, this really is your person loving you. It just looks as though they don't really tell you the King of Cups energy. I think they told you at the beginning or they might have told you once because we do have the King of the Knight of Swords rushing in. So I feel as though they might have told you in the beginning and then they're not at this time, which has made you feel really uncomfortable. But when we look at this energy to clarify this, what we're seeing here is this person is free. They're able to make an offer to you. They are making an offer. You are the empress in their viewpoint. No wonder they're so happy with you. They do have fire in their belly for this relationship. And the King of Cups appears again with a strength card, okay? So I'm going to tuck these back in here. So this is you. But you're really feeling like there's something wrong with this picture. <laughs> Capricorn, you are not going to make love to this person. You're not going to give them your passion unless you know what's going on with them. Oh, you are going all ice maiden, ice queen here. Okay, queen of swords. Why is this energy here for Capricorn? You want a new beginning. Okay. Fair enough, right? You definitely want a new beginning. 
Okay, so that's Aquarius energy. Seven of Swords again, and the Knight of Swords. This person is healing from something they didn't tell you about. They're still wounded about something. And it doesn't have anything to do with you. And you're catching on to that. They might have told you a little tidbit, but they didn't tell you much. The other possibility is that your person could have left a marriage very quickly. And they're healing from it. And they're dealing with a lot of negativity. So... Again, I feel, though, that they fell in love with you very quickly. Okay, so this person is not telling you something, though. What is it that they're not telling Capricorn? What is this person not telling Capricorn? What is the secret that they are keeping? It looks like they're, like, almost surveilling you. Aries energy. So this person has a big chess piece. They're being very strategic. Why is this person being strategic? They're keeping secrets. What are they keeping secrets about? A queen of wands. Okay. So we have a queen of swords and we have a queen of wands. Okay. So let's go here and find out why we have the sun card. We're going to circle back. This is really complicated. All right. So let's see here. Why is this sun card here? Okay. Your person was in love with another person before they met you. And though they fell in love with you, they're not telling you that they still have feelings for someone else. You feel as though they walked away from your relationship to go romance somebody else that they love more than you. Capricorn. Temperance card, but they're not. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I've circled back around again. Okay. So what we see here is that this person, this Queen of Wands, let's clarify one thing about this Queen of Wands. Is she presently the person that Capricorn's King of Cups loves? Does he still love her? There's still love. There's still love. So the issue that you're having, Capricorn, is that you're in love with somebody who is in love with you, but they still have a lot of feelings for someone else. They still feel this double energy with this other person. It looks like, okay, so I'm going to do another another set of cards after this to see their intentions with this other person. Okay, why is Capricorn feeling hermited here? Throwing You threw caution to the winds. You told this person you really cared about them. The two of coins. Here's juggling. Okay, the truth of the matter is, is that this person is juggling the truth. Ah, here it is. That's what I thought. Oh my gosh. They were left in the cold by that person. That person, as much as they care about that person, that person is not, that person is not returning to them. They are not seeing that person. You're dealing with somebody who wasn't ready to jump into a relationship, who nonetheless started something with you when they're still working on themselves and they just devil energy they're still they still have feelings for someone else from the past they still have love for somebody else from the past no wonder you feel this is raw but look at this energy the star card that's redemption the star card tell us why the star card is here nine of coins well they're walking towards you they're healing because that is a healing card. So this person is healing. They're coming away from the toxic energy. Aw, Capricorn, look at it. We have two sets of Virgo energy. This person is making their way to you. They feel as though you're really reliable. The Ten of Pentacles energy says that they see you as a potential marriage 
a partner, somebody who has shared values, somebody who would really work hard at the relationship. They have fire in their belly. Equal give and take, okay. Okay, eight of wands, okay. So your person is coming back into the relationship and they just don't want to talk to you about this. They do not want to talk about it. Now I'm going to do another set of cards here. I'm not going to take this to the extended. I don't kind of have it. My schedule super busy right now. So I'm going to give you an extended reading right here, right now, okay? So Capricorn, this is a tough one, but let's pull out. Go to the sea, follow your intuition. You are, you know, that's sort of like the hermit card. You are searching for answers. Why? You want to know why they didn't tell you. Why they didn't tell you about this. This is a big deal. They did fall in love with you. Yeah, deep knowing. You know it intuitively. Okay. So I'm going to pick up the cards and we're going to, um, you'll see me in just a moment when this is cleared off. I'm going to do a separate reading for their thoughts, feelings, and intentions with the Queen of Wands energy, okay? We need to know that because it's King of Wands. For some people, it may be the fact that they, they were divorced and they're still in love with their old partner or they haven't really healed from it. They're still carrying a flame for someone else. But this is getting in the way, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, hi Capricorn, back again. So we're gonna shuffle. We're gonna get three good shuffles in here and we're going to see the King of Cups and his thoughts, feelings, and intentions with the Queen of Wands, because that is not your energy, okay? Let's see, why? What are the thoughts, feelings, and intentions of the King of Cups that is the love interest of Capricorn in this reading towards a former partner? How are they, what do they, what do they want with that person? They are healing, okay. They do have a desire for reconciliation, though. That's a number one card for reconciliation. The Ace of Swords. Oh, wow. Okay. So for some of you, you may have been actually ghosted by this person. Ouch. For others, not so much. It does look like they're healing. It does look like they care very deeply about you, Capricorn. But they're looking at their future as if there's a choice open about a marital situation, Taurus energy, Sagittarius, Capricorn energy. It looks like you might have been juggled. Yeah, the Tower card, no stability here. This is towards how they feel towards the other person here. They are King of Cups. King of Cups energy. This other person looks as though they broke up, broke up with them. And the Ace of Cups, they still love this person. They would still like to reconcile. What's the outcome of this mess? Okay, I'm gonna do here, okay. Yeah, this person played around on them. This person had fun out of school, so to speak. This person, wow. You'd almost think this could be you, Capricorn. Oh my goodness. Look at these cards. So what I'm getting here is that there will be no reconciliation. This person's going to heal. This person is going to heal, but they were with somebody who definitely may have cheated on them. It looks like they did. It looks like player energy. That looks like this person was juggled. Do they have the capacity to love you deeply? Do they have the capacity? I'm going to use these cards. Does your person, Capricorn, when they're healed, are they going to bring, what are they going to bring to the table with you? Okay. What will they bring to the table with Capricorn? What are their, yeah, here. Oh, temperance again. This is a person who knows how to love deeply. This is a person, yeah, here we go. They caused, a, they caused a, an instability in your relationship. 
the five of wands because they were still thinking about someone else the four of swords are still healing from that person the empress card it does look like somebody they were married to this person looks oh wow it just looks like they were devastated the page of pentacles they may have been married to someone younger someone with whom they had a child someone who did not invest in them the star card does say they're healing though this person is healing they have no, the, the player energy or whatever happened there was it doesn't appear to have been your person it appears to be the person they were with and the magician card that's magus heal thyself physician heal thyself your person does have it they have the capacity according to this let's pull some um, wisdom of the oracle though and see and we'll look at whispers of angels and we'll look at um, we'll look at the sacred heart cards also let's see new life oh lovely soulmates look at you oh my gosh beautiful energy serendipity well that's a big fat yes answer oh my gosh capricorn all right let's see what whispers of love is is going to offer you in the way of advice let's see okay the only real thing that is real is love shift your focus from the problems back to love all right capricorn there you go love love makes a difference love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security self-worth and importance and new love okay well that's the story we see embrace the new opportunities of love that are here this may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth all right so capricorn oh my gosh that was a wild ride that was definitely a wild ride of a reading all right so let's take one more look here let's see you may not always understand why certain things happen however there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil and a blessing a blessing shall soon be revealed there you go wow all right capricorn it's complicated god healed all right you take care thanks so much take care bye-bye